today is what is today oh my god today is october 30th tomorrow's halloween i completely forgot i was doing goodie bags for the kids at my son's um am i what i forgot i was doing goodie bags for my son's class so i got these stickers from the dollar store I got this gum too and this gum also picked up these little pencils and that's all y'all i didn't really go ham or do nothing crazy this time because they're about to eat a whole bunch of candy anyway because it's halloween and i'm sure a lot of them are gonna go tr trick-or-treating so i got these little bags i've been having these bags from the dollar tree so i'm just gonna use those vloggy vlog okay if you're new here my name is victoria make sure you guys hit that subscribe button girl oh my god i have an itch make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you become a part of the family i would love to have you so y'all we're in my closet oh yeah you guys today is halloween so happy halloween oh so, my son decided he did not want to go trick-or-treating this year so he told me he didn't want to um celebrate any holidays i said are you sure okay because i'm gonna still celebrate he was like, no, I don't want to go trick-or-treating. I just feel like I don't want to go. And then he was like, oh, um, I think it's just childish going door to door. Girl, he, he think he's a little teenager, okay? But he not, he nine. So he was like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to dress up. Um, and then plus, you know, I don't really like candy, which is true. My son does not like candy. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, like when he was going trick-or-treating, like all the other years, I would eat the candy or his daddy. Um, but it would just sit there and collect dust, y'all. <laughs> it would just sit there. Um, he would eat like a couple pieces from it, but other than that, he never, he never wants to eat it. So, anywho, I get invited to a Halloween party by Brittany's friend Taja, and uh, I told my son, and I was like, "Do you want to go?" And he was like, "I don't know, I don't know." So anyway, last minute he decided he wanted to go. Long story short, girl. So I had to find him a costume. And y'all know I work with Fashion Nova. So I was like, let me see if um, I can get Fashion Nova to send me a costume for him. I should have went ahead and ordered it from Amazon. But I, I just wasn't thinking. So I can get next day shipping. But girl, anyway, the package from Fashion Nova was supposed to come today. It's still coming. But now they're talking about it don't come till 7 o'clock. First it was supposed to be like 2, 3. You know, the time just kept jumping. So now they're talking about 7 o'clock. The party started at 6. I have to drive 45 minutes away. So I don't know. I'm a little stressed out. I guess we're just going to be a little late. But ugh, I'm just like, I should have never listened to that boy and just ordered something just to have it. So yeah, it's like a little cow cowboy outfit that I had ordered him. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna stay until like, I may leave at 6 o'clock. Just so I'm get, I'll get there at like 6.45 or like close to 7 just to see if the costume will come. But I have a little bit of time now. I just went ahead and got myself ready. I did go to work today too, so I'm a little exhausted from that. So I'm trying to keep myself up and busy until it's time for us to go. Because I, if I lay in that bed, uh, it's a wrap and we ain't going. So I'm like, you know, what can I get down around the house while... You know, I'm waiting to get up in this closet because, girl, I got so much stuff in here. It's ridiculous. I can't even put my stuff that I've washed in here. I have to take some of this stuff out. Some items in here where I'm just like, you know, when I lose weight, I'll wear it. Like, I hate doing that. I hate that mindset. But some stuff was just too cute to get rid of, but it was just too small for me. So, I think I'm going to mainly keep that stuff and then kind of get rid of, like, the bigger things. Because I'm like... She may not be able to fit it later, you know? Eh, but <laughs> but anyways, y'all, um, let me go ahead and, you know, do this. And then we'll, I'll probably pick up the phone again when we about to leave to go to the party. Hey, I'm with the boys in the hood right now. I'm feeling like Angela Bassey. 
change of plans. Um, I'm not going to the little party that Brittany invited me to. She's not going either. I think she said her and her kids are just gonna stay home and pass out candy. But uh, yeah, by the time I get to like where she is, they like an hour and some away from me and it's just gonna be too late. My son's costume is still not here, it's six o'clock. So I'm just gonna stay home, so I'm gonna stay home. Um, my son is really not feeling that well anyway. He's been like sneezing and coughing and just under the weather anyway. So I was like, you know what? We might as well just order some pizza, get some candy, uh, pop some popcorn and just watch some Halloween movies or something. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Um, hold on. His dad is texting me cause he's driving us to get the stuff. Hey, um, so we just got back home. And y'all, my Fashion Nova package came. I'm just undoing everything. I'm gonna show y'all the um, costume that my son had that I got for him. He already tried it on. It's still kind of big for him. It was this cowboy costume. So yeah, maybe he can keep it for next year or, or something he doing in his class, I don't know. But we got pizza, Domino's. Didn't really want it, but he wanted it. And we just picked up some candy, little snacks, and we're just gonna watch a movie. Bye. Hey girl, Victoria from the future. Hey, hey, hey. I had to interrupt the vlog, you guys, to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Easy Cozy. They sent me over a customized necklace, and it's not just any customized necklace. I have to show you guys, because it is so cute, it is so different. I just wanted to show you guys how everything came packaged. Everything was very neatly packaged and very protected. So, I already took a peek in it, y'all, because I just, I couldn't wait, okay? It came with, like, this little gift bag here. It just says, Forever Love. So, if you do want to give this as a gift, it does come with bags on their website as well that you can go ahead and get, okay? You're going to need to know how to work your necklace, okay? That's what I'm telling you. This necklace is really cool, okay? So, it kind of shows you how to do that. It also comes with a polishing cloth as well in this little pouch. Here's the actual box that the necklace came in. Depending on like what you order, things will look different or come different. But if you order the one that I have, it will come just like this, okay? So it just has a pretty pink packaging that says Forever Love with a bow. And it has a heart here where you can see the roses inside. Super cute. This is what it looks like inside. It just has these faux roses inside along with your necklace here and i love this because you can always use this as any type of box for anything you can store your jewelry in here it's my necklace you guys i'm so excited to show you guys my necklace i'll give you guys some close-ups so you guys can see how it looks but like i said everything came packaged really nicely so you guys i have a picture of my son and this necklace i know you cannot see it because this necklace is a projector necklace how freaking cool is that so all you have to do is hold your flashlight up to the little circle here that you guys see here in the middle and it projects the picture that you pick on the wall it's kind of like a secret hidden picture only you know what's in here unless you tell somebody or you gift it to somebody they'll also know but you guys i just thought that that was so freaking cool isn't that so cool like i have never seen a necklace like that ever if you have like some type of special memory or you know somebody's birthday um anything you know coming up this would be a really good birthday gift holiday gift and you know the holidays is right around the corner girl okay so i'm just giving you some ideas okay but y'all i just i love this i'm gonna keep this forever and hold it close to my heart and i like the fact that it isn't a heart because y'all know my baby is my heart okay so yeah you guys i will have all the information you need down below so you guys can go check out this customized necklace and get you one okay okay you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog <laughs> Hey y'all, so it's been a few days since I picked up my camera. Do not mind my hair, I'm about to fix it. <laughs> I have to put some lip gloss on while I talk to y'all because my lips is so dry. <clears throat> y'all, why my freaking throat is kind of hurting? Oh my God, I am like, please don't get sick. The weather over the past couple days have been so weird. Like, it's been really cold and rainy. So, oh, I don't know. It's just been all over the place. And then it's been hot. And it's just, 
I ain't here for it. So, anyways, today is a Monday. Yeah, Monday. Happy Monday. Um, getting ready to shoot some content. I actually have to run some errands today too. I'm kind of contemplating if I want to run errands today or tomorrow. I'm not too sure, but I really need to get this stuff done. Let's go in the kitchen and get this food together. I'm still wearing my pajamas, as y'all can see, because they're so comfy. These are the ones I got from, oh my God, what is it called? Love it. Yeah, love it. It's like a Shein brand that does like intimate wear. So, set y'all up. Oh my God, y'all, I didn't show y'all my flowers. I got some flowers over the weekend, some roses, so pretty. So we need to cut these up and get these together, but they're so pretty. But yeah, y'all, we gotta take our vitamins, get our breakfast together. I'm doing a whole separate um, video. Look, I just said that and I was dark. I'm doing a whole separate video of like what I'm eating. I got hair in my eye and all of that. Before I leave though, I've been on TikTok and today is November 4th. Y'all know the elections is coming up. And I ain't gonna lie, like at first I was like, I'm not really too much worried about it. But the way it's looking is, yeah, we about to have our first woman president and she black. Like I'm just hoping everybody stays safe. I know a lot of people say they're not going to work that day or the next day, they're just kind of laying low. Um, I just want everybody to be safe. Like that's my whole thing. Like regardless of who wins, I'm always worried that something's gonna pop off, you know, but everything's already written. That's the, that's the crazy part. Everything's already written. God knows what's gonna happen already. He knows what needs to happen. So really technically we're not even really in control because everything's written already. So my prayer and my hope is that everybody just remains safe okay just be smart be safe um make sure y'all you know what i'm saying pay attention to everything going on make sure y'all got yourselves together and yeah but um i just been really thinking about it and i'm like wow like uh here's another moment in history that we've never seen before so i just think that that is going to be a beautiful thing to see and also very terrifying but um <laughs> Yeah, I don't really talk about politics and stuff on my channel because I feel like it's too sensitive. Everybody differs. Um, I feel like stuff like that should be kept private. I mean, unless you are very vocal and I know there's people that are into stuff like that. I just feel like I don't like to, I like to just respect everybody and respect where everybody's coming from regardless if it differs from me, you know? But anyways, I'm rambling again. Let's get this breakfast together. Cause we got things to do today, girl. In here trying to get this dang Ezekiel bread together. This is the one I got. I usually get the orange one. Cause I want some toast. And I just realized I don't have a toaster. So I've been getting my bread together on the actual, um, on the stove top. But this bread, I don't want to like mess it up. Cause it's frozen. So it's like stuck together. Okay, here we go. Probably by the time you guys see this video, y'all will have known that I have started my weight loss journey again. But with the help of semaglutide, a GLP-1 medication. So yeah, you guys will be hearing more about that. Very, very soon. Eat some, what are these called? Egg bites. And it has, of course, eggs bell pepper and smoked turkey sausage. So we're gonna be eating that with a piece of toast <clears throat> and probably some pineapple. I'm not sure yet. I had to figure out a way to eat eggs, y'all, cause I don't know, for some reason, I don't really like eggs anymore. Like I used to love like avocado toast with the eggs on top, but I don't know what it is. For some reason, it just don't be tasting right to me. So I had to figure out something where I can get some more protein in, in the morning. So I tasted one of them yesterday after I made it and it was good. So fingers crossed, okay? I got a knock on my door and I got a package. And it is from Shein. Y'all, I haven't worked with Shein in a minute, y'all. It has been a little minute so i decided to go ahead and take a break so i can see what's in this package i've pretty much forgotten what i've asked for like what i ordered 
now that it's the holidays y'all gonna be seeing a lot of different content so brace yourself okay see what i got i'm gonna give y'all like a little sneak peek plus i want to get this haul done today so i need to unbox everything this is really cute this is giving thanksgiving <laughs> this is so cute i love this I'm about to get cozy on the couch for a second. Just for a second. Can't get too cozy. Still got work to do. But I just want to go ahead and... Did y'all just hear my shoulder pop? Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but my boss brought me a laptop. So and now I have a laptop. I was telling her, I've never had a laptop before. I've never had a laptop. And she brought me one. So kudos to her. Love my boss. Love, love, love her. And I love my little laptop. Yeah. I want to hit like a little coffee shop, you know, take my little laptop, do some work, some editing or whatever. I don't edit on a laptop. I never have. I've always edited it on my phone, but I may start. I don't know. <laughs> I may start, but all right, let's get into Sephora. I'm not going to do anything crazy as far as like shopping wise, because I'm, y'all know, I'm not really, I'm into makeup, but not like. To the point where I be buying everything. Things I don't need. You know what I'm saying? I'm very like minimal. So I just need some more foundation. I need some more eyeliner. Because y'all know I've been ghetto with the eyeliner girl. <laughs> um, and then I need. Um, what else do I need? Oh concealer. Because I'm running out of concealer. So. Let's get on Sephora. And after this, I need to go ahead and cut my flowers up too. Because they, they need to be in their flower food before they start dying on me. Uh, I feel like I try to jam everything in one day. Just because I'm only off my uh, office job on Wednesdays. I'm really just wanting to be like consistent with everything. And with you guys, like it's really important for me. To be consistent and follow my dreams so i feel like when you start working for other people like you just put everything that you want to the waistline and it's like you don't follow your dreams anymore so it's been like a constant battle for me um constant battle for me to just not overwork myself at the office job and still like do content you know what i'm saying like i just feel like there needs to be a balance to everything and i don't want to give the office job more of me and then you know neglect you guys so i just been trying to figure out that balance um and uh yeah but anyway okay let's say i got ten dollars off at checkout okay i'm gonna have to use that honey Mess. Hold on, y'all. Today is now Saturday, and last time I talked to y'all was Monday. When I tell y'all, I've been struggling. Baby, I've been struggling. That medicine, okay, hold on. Gotta put, put my unit on. That medicine I'm taking, y'all, they say the first week is the hardest, and I believe them. At first, I was like, oh, how hard could it really be, you know? I'll be fine. I'll be one of the ones that don't have side effects. Girl, please. Girl, please. I have an update coming for y'all. Um, I think I'm going to have the update up on Monday. Not sure when this vlog is going to be up, but y'all, I got to let y'all know what had happened. Okay, what had happened was, because baby, I have been struggling, okay? <clears throat> so that's kind of what prevented me from vlogging this entire week. I haven't been feeling like myself, and I feel like I'm now just feeling a little bit better. 
um still feel a little off but i feel better than what i have been feeling like um so that's good so now i'm actually getting ready to run some errands i'm really salty though y'all because it's already getting dark outside and i think it's like five o'clock i gotta burp a little salty about it getting dark outside already at five o'clock like i forgot what seasonal depression is i'm really like trying not to even think about it because i don't want to deal with it this year um i'm just trying to do what i can to kind of like make my days good and i guess fill them with whatever i can most of the time when i get off of work it's already dark anyway that alone is kind of making me feel some type of way but i'm just like you know what girl don't 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 think about it don't don't think about it just do what you can enjoy the day as it comes and goes whatever but i do miss having the sunlight and stuff for an extended period of time um so yeah anyways i'm rambling i just want to come on here and say hey y'all i don't know how long this vlog is gonna be because like i said i have missed the whole week and i really don't want it to be dragging into you know the following weeks and all of that i hate when i can't find the hole that's what he said <laughs> no let me shut up <laughs> i'll be struggling oh my god <sighs> put some deodorant on y'all been forgetting to put deodorant on don't look at my arms i gotta shave i know they hairy <laughs> they are hairy y'all do not judge me i just i have not been caring i have not been caring i'm gonna put a splash of this on this is finery Mag magentic candy from target Oh, but everybody love this when I wear it. Everybody. I'm just throwing on my last little touches or whatever so I can head out the door. I got to go to Kohl's because I have to drop off a Amazon return. And then, where else I got to go? Kroger because I want to make chili tonight. That's exciting. And I may or may not go to my sister-in-law's house. So yeah, my niece's birthday. I may go over there. I'm not too sure. It depends on the time of everything and when I get everything done. Because I really don't want to be out and about too late tonight. Um, so yeah, let me close these windows. This is how you know I haven't talked to y'all in a few days. Because my Sephora package came. Okay, so the last time we spoke, I was ordering my Sephora stuff. I just got my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a foundation that I use. You guys are always asking. I'll link it down below. I got the Fenty Concealer because that's the one I use. Y'all always asking, so I'm letting y'all know. Y'all, the eyeliner that I freaking love from Sephora is the Sephora brand. Um, I'm not sure the name of it. Does it have the name on it? I just know I get it in the color black. It's the Sephora brand, and this is what she looks like. Okay. Now we're actually going to get out the house, I promise. <laughs> Don't mind the stuff in the back. So I'm sitting here vibing out, listening to my music, minding my own business, and I get this comment on my vlog that says, um your comments about white people are super offensive first of all i had to go back and look at the vlog that she is she's even referring to because i know for damn sure and i'm sorry to cuss y'all but i know for a fact i am not one of them people that talk about people like that i may have my comments and i keep them to myself off the internet i know because of the election and everything going on people are on their high horse right now but baby i ain't never said nothing about y'all i ain't never said not one thing i respect people's opinion whether it differs from mine or not i don't get on here bashing people i don't get on here talking about one group of people oh this and this i let people be who they're gonna be okay because at the end of the day i want people to respect my opinions my decisions the video she's referring to I was saying how white people have their own language and like it's a different vibe a different um feeling being around white people you know what i'm saying because i work in like a corporate world kind of now i work in the office i'm around them businessmen businesswomen i'm seeing different things that i've never really got to witness um being in this type of space you know so often now and i'm noticing it and i like it there's nothing wrong with me saying like oh like okay so you guys have your own type of way of speaking to each other which i mean there's nothing 
it's not bad i'm not saying anything bad i'm not saying that y'all sound ignorant i'm not saying that y'all sound stupid i never said any of that what i said was i like it i think it's cool i think it's different you know what i'm saying i don't mind being around individuals like that because i'm learning a lot so in my eyes how the hell is that offensive and i'm so sorry you guys cannot see me i feel so bad but I'm just like, people are just finding anything to feel some type of way about. There's the white lady that commented, girl, bye, go find something else to do. Go find somebody else to mess with because I'm not one of them ones. Like, I love everybody. Y'all, the way I just went off, my camera died mid going off. I'm so irritated. Um, but it is what it is. Like I was saying, I don't know what, I, I, I don't know. People these days, they find everything offensive and it's just... I can't but if I offended anybody I apologize but I feel like what I said was just not it wasn't anything like it wasn't nothing to be looked at as negative or anything I don't know but anyway we're at Kohl's I'm so mad my camera died at first I was like I'm just my camera died I was like you know what I don't feel like vlogging anymore because that comment really just pissed me off because I'm like I don't know but the devil ain't gonna win today okay i'm in a good mood i'm feeling good i'm looking good and the devil is just not gonna win with me today so try harder because that didn't work oh i gotta pick up this box i forgot it was so big hold on y'all look at their christmas stuff that is so cute let me look real quick oh i'm here I went the opposite direction. I went all the way around when I was supposed to go in and then turn the opposite way. I got my steps in for today. Anyway, Sephora is right here calling my name, but I'm not gonna go. Cause I already got my order, like I was telling y'all. So, anyway. I have to stop and give me something to drink, y'all. I am so thirsty. I cannot. I, I was gonna try to just go to actually no, because I wanna I want some water from Chick-fil-A. And I am one of those people that get water from uh fast food restaurants. Not every fast food restaurant because that's just nasty, but Starbucks has really good water and Chick-fil-A. So we're gonna go there to get some water. Um and then we're gonna head back this way to go to Walmart. I was like, you know what? I might as well go to Walmart because I need to get my niece something for her birthday and I need to get my ingredients for my chili tonight. So I can kill two birds with one stone, okay? Which line is shorter, Starbucks or Chick-fil-A? Let me see. Before I make my, I want a cake pop. I want a cake pop. So I'm going to Starbucks, I'm fine going to Starbucks where my wallet at so yeah Starbucks star busy it is star busy I don't need nothing else because if I drink anything with any type of caffeine in it girl I'll be up all night and I'm kind of nervous to have this cake pop but we'll see how I feel I haven't really had anything sweet besides like fruit with me being on this medication that I'm on. So we about to see how I feel eating this cake pop, but I have been craving a cake pop. So we're just gonna go ahead and do what it do. The snowman cake pop, isn't he cute? Oh my God. I don't feel like going to Walmart, but I need to go. I gotta go. Cause she's gonna be expecting the toy. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing to see slides in both ears. Y'all yeah, can't really talk in here because they got the music in here booming, but they always got cute stuff for little girls. Y'all, I'm in the toy aisle. Since all these damn toys get so expensive? Girl, everything is like $20 and up. Left out of Walmart, got my niece this little mermaid thing. I was trying to look for something that looks like her because I don't do the whole get any skin complexion and just let her have it. No, I want her to have things that actually look like her. So 
um, she is African so I found this one <laughs> it's really cute it comes with a whole bunch of different stuff hopefully she like it um, she a baby really so she gonna like anything anybody give her you like your gifts let me see your gift let me see what you got let me see hey guys what's up so today is Monday last time I spoke to you guys was Saturday um the party went well my niece really loved her gift girl she was all over the place eating cake doing this doing that cake was everywhere all over her clothes her mouth I mean she was having a good time so I'm happy for her oh yeah I did go ahead and make my chili on Sunday I didn't film it all because I was just tired I was doing a whole bunch of cleaning and just trying to get my house together so I didn't vlog but I made my chili and I want to ask you guys, what do y'all put in y'all chili? Let me know. I did put like some vegetables and stuff in my chili this time because you guys know I'm trying to eat more vegetables. Um, so yeah. But I'm curious to know what y'all put in y'all chili. Excuse my rub, girl. I'm kind of like all over the place because I'm hungry. And I need to go ahead and eat. <clears throat> So I'm about to just take a couple scoops of this. Still not able to eat a lot because you guys know I'm on some glutide. I'm surprised that I'm even hungry. I think the shot that I took yesterday because I did take my injection on Sunday. Um, <clears throat> it just wasn't enough. Because I had like such a huge reaction the first time around. I lowered my dose. So I think this dose is just going to be too, too low for me. Because I am having like hunger pains or whatever so I'm about to go ahead and do this but yeah I just want to check with you guys today is the holiday the kids still have school and stuff though which was great because girl I got a lot of work today I really don't want to take this stuff y'all like I be dreading doing it every day I ain't gonna lie because it's just not it's just not something I want to do my ginger shot homemade I'm gonna take this one first. Ugh. I need to take two of these, but I only take one a day. I need to do both. Oh Lord. Okay. Oh. am i dark can you guys see me i think you guys can see me good so today is thursday i jumped quite a few days okay because i don't have nothing really going on but you guys i must be going on a trip so we're gonna go do some prepping today not much because i ain't like doing lashes and all that but i do need to go get my nails done and i gotta go to walmart so i gotta buy some things like travel containers and things like that so anyways you guys i woke up with a freaking earache and i feel like i sound like i'm getting a cold so i'm gonna make sure i take all my vitamins today because girl we ain't playing them games okay Am I really all right y'all so first stop is um where we at <laughs> subway because i need to eat y'all i'm not hungry but I need to eat because if I don't eat, I'm gonna be sick. So we finna go in here and grab us a little sandwich real, real, real quick. Which I'll be getting from Subway. I usually just get, I think it's like the Italian something. Got my sandwich, spicy Italian. I just get a whole bunch of veggies. Y'all, this little sandwich, a six inch was $9. I remember when they used to be like, I remember when they used to be like five, $6. When when did they get to be nine dollars? I'm just trying to figure that out. Cause I'm like I could see if I got a whole big old gigantic sandwich, but girl, I got honey mustard this time. I usually don't get honey mustard, but mm. like I didn't get no chips or anything. Just a sandwich, nine dollars. And some change is crazy. The clothes and all that that you had just you. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> so pretty. I just got out of the nail shop probably like a couple minutes ago, five minutes ago. I've been sitting here eating the other half of my Subway sandwich because I was getting a little hungry again. So here's my nails. I'll pop a picture of the uh, color that I got on the screen so you guys can see it. But right now I have to go to the dollar store. I was going to try to go to Walmart, but I don't feel like driving that far. And I have so much work to do. I got to edit a video for you guys to post today and then um, pack because I have not packed anything. Christmas section looking at their stuff I think I'm gonna get some stuff I didn't know that they carry this brand at the dollar store they got all their Christmas stuff out Let's see. I don't need nothing but I'm about to look okay y'all so why I just pull up to CVS and my boss <laughs> My boss is here. The reason why I know it's her is because her car is wrapped in like our uh, logo for work or whatever. And I was like, I had a feeling I was going to see her. I called off of work today. I mean, she was cool with it. Like my boss going to be tripping. But um, I called off of work because I told her like I have nothing done. I got to run errands and do this and do that. So yeah, like she's at CVS. So I'm going to run in there real quick and see if I can run into her. But I just want to do a quick dollar store haul. Um... <laughs> I don't know why but I just want to show y'all what I got so y'all know that every season or like holiday I try to do some for my son's class so I got him some or them some pencils I don't know if I should have parked right here because I feel like everybody about to be in my grill as I'm trying to film this so yeah I do goodie bags is what I was trying to say so I got these pencils y'all if you want to do like party favors or anything for like kids even adults you can go to the dollar store and they have everything so I got these pencils. These pencils are so cute. And then I found these cute goodie bags. These little treat bags. It's 15 in a pack. These have like little snow penguins and stuff all over them. They're so cute. I love them. And I like the shape of them too. This pack of mini candy canes. I get these every year for them. Um, and it has 25 in a pack. I'm going to do the pencil, the little mini candy cane. And then I'm going to put um, a pack. Not a pack, but... Um, I'm gonna put some hot cocoa. I'm gonna just put one little pouch. I got the uh, milk chocolate and then I got the marshmallows. So I got a couple packs of those and I have some at the house already that I could give them. So they're gonna get one little packet of hot chocolate, a mini candy cane, and then a pencil. I don't do these gift bags or goodie bags. Like I don't do too much because it's just like a little something something. Just to kind of, I don't know. I just like doing it every season. I picked up some gum, trident, cinnamon. I wasn't sure which one to get. What gum do you guys like from them? I don't know if I've ever tried the cinnamon before. I feel like I always get like peppermint or mint or something. But yeah, so that. I got us some travel toothbrushes. Oh, and if you're about to travel to, perfect place to go, Dollar Tree. These have the little things on them already too. So that's good. I don't have to worry about it being out and about. I um, also got us some toothpaste, and I'm hoping that this is okay. It's 2.5 ounces, so it should be all right. And then, y'all, the main reason why I went in there is to find these travel little container things to put, like, body wash and lotion and stuff in. So I found these. They had a, a whole bunch of different ones, but this one was, like, more bang for my buck, and I felt like I could put more in them. So yeah, and it was only $1.25. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna run up in CVS and get what I need for the house, go home and start packing. So yeah, you guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like this vlog is gonna be really long if I don't. Um, so yeah, the next vlog would be me um, like packing and telling you guys where I'm going and you know, all the things, okay? but. I don't want to add it to this vlog because I just think it'll be overdone. Because I think I put like Halloween in here and everything. The vlog needs to end, okay? So anyway, I love you guys so much. And I appreciate you guys watching and spending the little day with me, little mini day. Um, didn't do much, but it was fun. Like, I really do love hanging out with you guys. I love taking you guys along with me. I really feel like I have like a friend here with me like as we're... Like, as I'm doing stuff and running my errands, I love that. So, anyways, I love you guys once again. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.